now we will read the general helminthology so in helminthology we read about the helminths helminths are a type of parasites which live on the host organisms and derive the nutrition from the host the difference is uh, is that the helminths are multicellular and they are eukaryotic organism okay that is the unique point about the helminths now helminths are classified into two broadly they are classified into two groups one is the one is the uh, platy helminths one is platy helmin helminths and the other one is the nemart helminths okay nemart helminths so one is the platy helminths and the nemart helminths the platy helminth is further classified into the cestodes into the cestodes and the trematodes okay they are further classified into the cestodes and the trematodes so helminth is broadly classified into the platy helminths and the nemart helminths the platy helminths are further classified into the cestodes nemat cestodes and the trematodes while nematode has been given the name of uh, i mean nemart helminths are given the name of the nematodes okay nematodes they are given the name of the nematodes so we will not go into the platy helminth and the nemart helminths okay so we will directly go to the classification of cestodes trematodes and the nematodes okay so okay, wait let me erase this all because if it will be there we will be unable to read it so let me first delete all this so we will see directly the cestodes trematodes and the nematodes we will not go into the platy helminths and the yeah, into the platy helminths and the nemart helminths rather we will directly go to cestodes trematodes and nematodes now cestodes are further classified based on the site of the organism where they infest so cestodes are in uh, the infestating site of the cestodes is the intestine and the tissues so the cestodes which infest into the intestine they are diphylobotrium latum hymenolepis nana tinea solium and the tinea saginata while the tissues in tissues the cestodes which are uh, infested in the tissues are the echinococcus granulosus that is all that is about the uh, classification of the cestodes next is the classification of the trematodes so trematodes are again also classified based on the site of the infestation so uh, based on that they are there are intestinal trematodes blood trematodes hepatic trematode and the lung trematode so intestinal are the fasciolopsis buski in the blood they are schistosoma mansoni schistosoma japonicum and the schistosoma hematobium while in the hepatic they are fasciola hepatica fasciola gigantica and the clonorchis okay clonorchis while in the lung they are the paragonimus westermani this is a imp important parasite okay this may be asked uh, as a mcq as well like which of the following helminth is residing in, in the lungs so it is the paragonimus westermani this is the classification of the trematodes now coming to the classification of the nematodes so classification of the nematodes is also again this based on the site of infestation so a small intestine nematodes are the ascaris hookworm nectar americanus and the strongy loides starcoralis okay strongy loides starcoralis these are all the small intestine nematodes while the large intestine nematodes are the trichuris trichura which is also called as the whip worm the enterobius vermicularis which is the pin or the thread worm okay while uh, in tissues the nematodes which are infesting the tissues are the uh, so in tissues we have lymphatics and we have the subcutaneous side so in the lymphatics it is the Ucheraria bancrofti 
uh, which is a type of nematode residing into the lymphatics and the brugia mali and the brugia timori they are also residing into the lymphatic tissues while the nematodes which are residing into the subcutaneous site are the lower lua worm and the onco surface volvulus okay these are all residing into the tissues or uh, and what type of tissue it is the subcutaneous tissues so subcutaneous tissues mein it is lower lower worm and the onco circa volvulus and some other miscellaneous uh, nematodes are the raconculus medinensis and the trichinella spiralis these all names and also the sites all the name of the parasites and along with the sites should must be remembered this is very important to remember all these names of the parasites and to what class they belong whether they are cystodes trematodes or the nematodes and what uh, at which site they reside or infest this all should be remembered and you can easily remember all of them by just writing this whole table if you write this whole table five times on a copy on a uh, white paper okay then you can remember it easily just five times you have to write and you will remember all the names along with the site from uh, where they reside or where they infest now we will see the difference between the cystodes trematodes and the nematodes what is the difference between them so uh, the difference lies in many factors like the shape the uh, whether they are monoecious or dioecious okay so that uh, that difference also lies whether they are is they are monoecious or dioecious and whether there is any sucker or not based on elementary canal and the body cavity also so if we talk about the shape then cystodes are dorso ventrally flattened so they are leaf like okay not not leaf like they are dorso ventrally flattened just like a measuring tape you have seen the measuring tape so the measuring tape is flat dorso ventrally that's that's why they are also called as the tape worm okay so they are dorso ventrally flattened and hence they are tape like so you can remember it dorso ventrally flattened while trematodes are leaf like they are leaf like like this okay they are leaf like and nematodes are cylindrical they are like cylindrical in this way okay they are cylindrical just like the earthworm okay you have seen the earthworm they are cylindrical and similarly the nematodes are also cylindrical now if you come to the monoecious or dioecious so cystodes are all the cystodes are the monoecious monoecious the meaning of monoecious is that both the female and the male sex organs are present in the same organism okay that is called as the monoecious so cystodes are monoecious the trematodes are also monoecious all the trematodes are monoecious except the schistosomes this is a very important mcq except the schistosomes all the trematodes are monoecious schistosome is dioecious that means in the schistosomes the male and the female or uh, sex organs are present in two different organisms in the male there will be male organism uh, male uh, sex organs and in the female there will be female sex organ in case of the schistosomes while the nematodes in case of nematodes all are dioecious means the male is present in the male and the female sex organ is present in the female uh, nematode so nematodes are only dioecious if we talk about the suckers so in the cystodes suckers with the hooklets are present but in trematodes suckers are present but they do not have any hooks while in nematodes they have buccal capsule they do not have these suckers or hooklets they have just the buccal capsule if we talk about the elementary canal so in cystodes the elementary canal is absent because they are very primitive okay while trematodes are poorly developed in uh, trematodes the elementary canal is poorly developed that means the development is occurring in this order okay so initially it was absent then it was poorly developed and then it was well developed in the uh, in the nematodes so the cystodes are the most primitive then there was development of trematodes and then the nematodes if you remember in this way then you can remember all the differences so body cavity also it was absent in the cystodes it was absent in the trematodes and but it is present in the nematodes so this is all the difference between the cystodes trematodes and nematodes next we will see the individual uh, organisms separately